it's not all freshers cheap nights out and plt sample sales here's the tea basically i was about to do this video i was like literally leaving the house i was going to do a drive with me uh again i know jesus stop i'm just so creative two times in one week i know honestly what <laughs> i was about to leave the house and mom had the news on obviously when does she not have the news on and northern ireland's on a, a proper lockdown so you're not supposed to leave the house unless it's like essential don't really see this as essential and i don't think a police officer would see do me doing a drive with me as an essential so i'm just sitting in the car instead of driving anywhere it's kind of different from the last time because the last time i was driving this time i'm not driving so there is a bit of a difference and let's just cut to the chase as well see if i look right me or like laugh or like just feel really awkward it's because my street is literally a building site this house is for sale there's currently someone on view in it which is really awkward but down this way there are houses that's like being built so there's men walking across the street i'll show you so men just like walk across here all the time and they're gonna just see me, they're gonna see me sitting in my car talking to myself. Anyway, this is what I came to talk to you about. I wanted to talk about uni. Uni life, uni experiences, what uni is really like. Because Boris doesn't seem to want to talk about uni students during this whole global pandemic, literally. I'm just gonna give you a wee insight into my uni experience, ways that I felt, things that has happened to me through my whole many years of a going to uni, around like four years. Um I let me know if anybody relates. People see uni as this big amazing experience if they see their friends at uni they're like oh my god like they're loving their best lives they're so happy and that's really not the case some of the time anyway let's start off as soon as you go on this sick form you're not even on the doors of the sick form yet and they're saying apply for UKS and I'm like hold on a minute what the hell is UKS when I was in sick form it wasn't like no one told you I thought right this might sound really stupid I thought uni was compulsory something that you had to do I thought it was like primary school secondary school uni like that was just how it was like you had to do it no one ever told me that like you had to do it whenever you're in school obviously they want you to like go on and do good things but they don't say like oh like you don't have to like you could take a year out or you could do this instead or like they don't tell you that so I thought I literally thought that I had to go to uni so obviously applying for UCAS don't have a single clue what I wanted to do no idea I don't ICT for A level and double award health and social care literally couldn't be the two most polar opposite ends of like the educational subject line I, oh my god that's really awkward oh my gosh so I view in that house and I'm in the car talking to myself Anyway, I thought uni was a thing you had to do, blah, blah, blah. There was a careers advisor on our school and she was, oh, she was good to be fair, but she didn't really say like, you know, you don't have to go to uni, blah, 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 blah which I think is kind of her job. She didn't really say that, so I was like, right, I have to go to uni. Cut the long story short, I applied for uni and I applied to go to Belfast to study business. No, didn't study business for GCSE, didn't study for a -Lib. I remember going into one of my lectures and I remember just looking around being like, what the hell is going on it just did not make sense anyway didn't know what this might sound really stupid and honestly i might look stupid for saying this but i really don't care it's the truth didn't know what a stakeholder was that that was like a big word that they always used a shareholder um liquid liquid what, what um tangible i know i know that's like things now but at the time i was like what the hell is this bitch talking about so anyway i obviously applied for uni got on or whatever belfast the, the fees are like three thousand pound a year £3,000 in debt, um, obviously you get your student loan and then I was in accommodation in Belfast too which it was not the cheapest. So I've got myself in so much debt for, oh my god this is really awkward. Like why, there's just daggers everywhere and people, and this is really awkward. Oh my god they're going to come this way now, oh my god look at them. Uh, that's so awkward, he, who knows that? Who has that? He probably, I think he owns a site, I think that's someone that like sells houses, not that you really care. Anyway, okay, blah 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 blah, cut a long story short, I'm in so much debt now because I decided just to go to uni, I wasn't 100%, like I would not get yourself under that much debt whenever you're not 100% sure of what you want to do. My experience in Belfast wasn't really the best, right, so this is how, this is how stupid I was when it came to uni, like I had no idea what was going on. You had to get like the uni email so you could get like your email and tell you your move and did, blah 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 blah, no. So if I did not know, <laughs> I did not have a clue. I had no idea that any of this was going on. You'd be told to that you're going to move under your halls like that weekend. I knew that. I think that came in like a letter to the house. And then I was like, oh, happy days. Like that's whenever I'm moving on. So I went up that weekend. 
No, turns out my specific halls was like the day before. That was the weekend for everyone, but then they divided. So there wasn't like thousands of people moving on to halls at the one time. Nope, didn't know that. But anyway, I had moved on to my flat, say, let's say on the Sunday, but my flat had moved on on like the Friday or Saturday. Obviously, everyone had met each other. Everyone was like chatting. Like they obviously knew that there was like 10 people all together. And then I, I just bounced out on the Sunday. All Emmons had been speaking and like friends and made friends and was like chatting away and blah, blah, blah. And I, I didn't, I wasn't on that initial like, Hey, I'm Sophie, do you know what I mean? So I missed that. So from that point on, I just felt so awkward. I was like, oh my God, they're all best friends. They all know each other. They're all like, they're so close. Like I, I didn't even come for like the first day and all. I just had all this going on in my head and I was like, they hit me. <laughs> I don't even know why because they were so lovely. They were actually so, so nice, all my flatmates. And I was like, oh my God, they all hit me. Like they're all staring at me. Like they just hit me. They don't want me to be here. Like this is just, this is just what was going on in my head. This obviously was not the case. Looking back at it now, that was grand. So that was kind of like a shit thing at the start. I didn't really know my flatmates. I wouldn't really, I didn't really go out of it. I literally did not leave my room because I just felt so awkward. I thought everyone hit at me. That when I talked to me, I was just so, and see, you know what's so weird? Before I went to uni, I thought that I was a social person. No, I am the most socially awkward person you will ever meet and I don't know that, I literally don't know, you don't learn this stuff until you actually put yourself in situations that make you realise that you're a social awkward person. I thought that I was like social, like I could speak to people, well I can't speak to people, I'm so bad with like, describing what I mean but I hope you know what I mean anyway. Uh, that was shit, I thought everyone hit at me, they didn't want to be with me, blah blah blah. And then the uni thing, the uni thing was just uh, icing on the cake, like a cherry on top for me to be like, what the hell am I doing with my life, why am I wasting all this money? So anyway, as I said, I was sitting like in lecture like, halls being like, what the hell are these people talking about? By like the last week in September we had like a this maths, finance, son, I honestly don't know what even the words were that they were using. Obviously, looking back now, it was not that hard. Like, it's just general business stuff. But me not being a business student or like not had studied a minute of business studies in my life, I had no idea what the hell was going on. Like, I was clueless. The wee puppy brought into the world. Everyone, obviously, me again, missed the first couple days. And everyone had we made like friends, been like, oh, like I'll meet you the next day or whatever. No, Sophie did not do that. Sophie was socially awkward yet again, had no friends. I had absolutely no friends on my Belfast Uni course. Let's be honest, I don't even go half the time. It got to like December. So they were talking in the group chat and all, and I was like, you I really hit Belfast or whatever. I remember too, whenever like we were all applying for UCAS, like all my friends went to Manchester. They all went like the first, the year that I went to Belfast, they all went to Manchester. And I had never been to Manchester before. I'd only been to Liverpool and I didn't want to go to Liverpool. I said to Holly, oh, like where are you applying? She was like, Manchester. And I was like, have you even been to Manchester? She was like, no, but I love it. And I was like, you're actually mad going to a city. Like at the time I thought, I had never been to Manchester. So I was like, what if I applied to go to Manchester? And I absolutely hate it. So I was like, Holly, you're mental. Like you haven't even been to this place and you're like moving there. Like you're moving there for three or four years. Like um, you're mad and all. She was like, I like grant no. But at the time I didn't look at life the way I look at life now. Jesus, that was really deep. But I was like, no, like, what if I be like stuck over there and I hit it and like, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, I went to Manchester for like warehouse project and I was like, absolutely love it. Like I need to move over here. Like how can I do it? I had this thing in my head like, oh, you know, I'm in, I'm in Belfast now. Like I have to stay here. No, I don't know what cut. And I was like, okay, why would I stay here when I'm unhappy? I don't even know what the hell is going on in my course. I'm paying for this accommodation. I'm paying for the course. I'm paying, going to repay my student loan. I was like, no. I, and then I was like, I really looked under it then. I was like, how? I think I actually went back to my careers advisor, got her email and all, I don't even remember. I had to go back on like my old school emails and be like, like miss, I really hit Belfast. Like I want to go to Manchester and do something different. At this time, three of my friends were doing fashion and I was like, that seems so bloody interesting. Like why did I not do that in the first place? Couldn't do fashion in Belfast, you can only do it overseas. And again, I don't want to go over there in case I hated it. And I was like, no, I really want to try and see if I can like, drop out here and go over to Manchester. I had to do another UCAS and I'm so lucky because UCAS deadline is like January, like apply and this was like December. I plucked up the courage to like be like, no, I'm going, I wanna leave, like I'm not happy. So at this stage I had applied for UCAS. I had I didn't tell my mommy. I don't tell anyone. The only person that knew was my career advisor. I applied in December and then I got like three of my I only applied for three places because I knew where I wanted to go to Manchester. Like got all my offers back and I was like, oh my God, I'm absolutely buzzing. Like I am so happy. And then I was like, shit, I need to tell my mommy I'm dropping out of uni. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to tell this? Like, I knew that she was literally so proud of me. And it was the fact it was Queen's as well. Queen's is a such a good uni. In my head then, I was like, oh my God, like, I, like, I can't drop out. Like, like she's so proud of me. I went to Queen's. At the time, whenever I was in Belfast, I was like, ah, it's good, no, it's good, blah, blah, blah. I absolutely hated it. I literally hated it so, so much. Like, something clicked in my head. I was like, no, at the end of the day, I might be making my mommy proud, but... I'm not making, like I'm not gonna be happy. So anyway, plucked up the courage. They finally tell her it was Christmas, and I think I got her up to Belfast to like kind of ease it on the back. And I was like, oh, we go to the Christmas markets. 
um, you know, like go for dinner and then we'll come back. I think I was bringing all my stuff back home to Derry for Christmas. She's like, I'll come up and I'll go to the market. Blah, blah, blah. It was grand. We went around the market and then we went to a place called City Picnic. I don't know if anybody knows it, but it's in Belfast. I literally remember it so clearly. I was like, right, how should I approach this? Should I like joke about it and be like, oh, I'm dropping out? Or be like, I really, like, I did not. I was, and it's my mommy. Like, she's like the person I know the longest. And I was so scared to tell her that I wanted to drop out of uni. I was on the telly and all, and she, I was like, um, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to change my course. That Hank, that's what I said at first, not like drop out. And she was like, What do you mean? And all, how are you supposed to change your course? I was like, Oh, I think I want to change my course. Like, I don't think this course is for me. I really want to go to Manchester. Like, I just want to leave Belfast completely. And she was like, What? She was like, What would you do in Manchester? And I was like, I really want to do fashion, blah, 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 blah. Whenever I told her there and City Picnic, I think that she was like, Well, I could think about it, blah, blah, blah. She didn't know that I had applied. I got offers and I was in my head. I was already in Manchester. And I was like, Right, mommy, I'm actually, like, I'm serious about Manchester. Like, I don't know if you thought I was joking, but I am dead serious. And she was like, what? No, are you serious? Blah, blah, blah. And then, anyway, that air was that. And then, so anyway, dropped out of Belfast in February. So I lasted about six months. That's not that bad. So anyway, apart from the whole dropout thing, I feel like it needs to be talked about because it's not... It needs to be talked about at the fact that uni, it's not all freshers, cheap nights out and PLT sample sales. It's really not. It might look that way. Like, people only put up. I know whenever I moved to Manchester, I was only... Obviously you do, that's what, that's what Instagram literally as or Snapchat, you only put up like things that like are good or like happy or like Mickey happy. You're not going to put up you lying in your bed depressed for six weeks, do you know what I mean? You're not going to do that. So whenever people say people back home or other people are saying like, oh my God, or she's over there having the best time, like I want to do that and blah, blah, blah. That is not the case. Even going to Manchester, as I said, I realised whenever I went to Belfast that I am not a social person. I am so socially awkward and I didn't know that until I went to Belfast and like had to meet new people obviously because you're in school with the same people from like first year right up until you're like 18 um so you don't really meet new people a lot do you know what I mean and then you, and you go to uni and you're like oh my god like you actually start to discover yourself this is really deep you actually start to realize what kind of person you actually are when you go to uni whenever I went to Manchester I was like oh my god like I'm so much more happier enjoying my course you know like I actually met a friend I met one friend in uni because the whole social awkward thing it's still there let me tell you but I love it I shout out to you I love it I thought that whenever I went to Manchester I'd be like oh my god like everything's gonna be fine I'm not gonna be socially awkward I'm gonna have like my normal dairy friends like the girls that I all grew up with more or less be studying something that I actually like I'm gonna be in a big city that I know that I like no I don't know what it is right and Again, it goes back to the whole like socially awkward thing in Belfast. Here you best believe, see if my lecture starts at nine in the morning and it's, I look at my phone, it's 9.01. You best believe I'm not walking on that lecture hall. Like I am not doing it. I don't know why, I don't know what it is, especially lecture halls that you walk in and the class is like fisting you. See if it's like, if you walk in the back, see if there's a seat, maybe I'll, I'll slide in. But you best believe I am not walking on the lecture hall that has the seats fisting forward. But I don't know what it is because whenever, say if I'm in a lecture hall and someone walks in at one minute past nine, you're and the people are talking you're initial you just look and then you just you know what i mean you, and like i don't even think like oh my god look at her like she's one minute late and, but i in my head i'm thinking every single person on this lecture theater is looking at me they're thinking oh my god like she's a cheek to walk in here one minute past night i don't know what else why do i feel like this like i was so awkward i hit it hit it hit it hit it hit it going to lectures seminars seminars are even worse because you actually have to talk to people not that bad now because it's all online i'm actually thriving because i literally don't have to see anybody actually makes me feel physically sick and not you can see when i lived in Fallowfield, i got the quarter to eight bus in the morning now that's a bit dramatic see for someone who has a lecture at nine Tick in mind, it takes maybe like half an hour, 45 minutes to get on. You best believe I was being at uni at half eight to make sure I was not late for a lecture. You not want to walk into a lecture theatre. Like it's actually mad whenever I say it out loud. But I will see on, see if we go back to uni in like March. I'll be doing the same thing. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to. Like there's no way in hell I'm going to walk into a lecture theatre when the lectures, when the, the, the people's talking and no chance absolutely no chance so don't even ask me because it's not happening what i'm trying to say here do i go off on a tangent whenever i went to manchester i thought oh my god everything's gonna be grand i'm like i'm gonna be fine no on that thing on instagram show me a picture or a time when the time whenever you were sad and i put up a picture i'll put it here i put up this picture and my mom it was all to me so when I, why did you put that picture up whenever you know, someone asked you whenever you were sad i was like because i was sad that you said on the picture life is a party and i was like like laughing or something and i think i captured it too right or like I does or something and see if someone posted that and I'd seen it on Instagram I'd be like oh my god go you like she's thriving loving her best life whatever I say inside I was so sad but I don't know why there was no reason for me to be sad because I literally loved in the house with my best friends I was studying a course that I actually enjoyed um 
like, like my life was not bad but i was just so sad i really don't know how to describe it um i don't know if there's anyone else out there that knows what i mean but it wouldn't stop me from doing things because someone was like do we go out tonight i was like yes yes please jeez that was really deep that was really really deep i i don't know it's just kind of like a, a like a perspective that someone might look as if they're okay when they're not you know what i mean i just wanted to make this video because i feel like a realistic uni experience isn't talked about at all like it's really not see people out there that go to uni and meet new people like they don't have like social anxiety or they're like like fair play to you honestly i wish i could be like that but see for a lot of people i know that that's not the case i wanted to give people an insight and the my uni experience and the fact that i just applied to uni because i was more or less being made day and now i'm in so much debt because of it so if you're taking anything away from this it would be like not go to uni just because everyone else is that's the end of the video now. anyway i hope you all enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment if you've ever felt any of these things thanks for watching everyone hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>